Hey guys, Spitty here. Thanks for tuning in and welcome back. So if you've been following the channel recently, you would have seen that I recently did a airship city build that's surrounded by a bunch of floating airships and it looked really cool. What I want to do today is I actually want to do a tutorial to show you guys how exactly I go about constructing these floating ships. So we'll build a couple different versions, uh, but just want to show you step by step how I go about it. So without further ado, grab a snack, grab a drink, and let's get right into it. So as you can see, I just have a, I built a quick little dock platform here. So this is where we're going to construct some of these ships. Just, uh, you know, off the bat, these ships are, are very similar to how I construct the more traditional ships that I had built on the pond, if you guys had seen those videos. But there are a couple of nuanced differences in terms of how to get it to work when you're suspending it in the air. So... When you're on the pond, you can use a you know a floating platform or something that sits at the bottom and acts as a good base to build everything around. But you kind of have to approach the the airship from the midsection, and I'll show you what I mean by that. So the first thing that I do when constructing these airships is decide where exactly I want it to to be attached to. So unfortunately, uh, Grounded did patch the the little glitch you can do to make things float in the, in the air. So it does have to be anchored to something that's attached to the ground. So, so starting from the wing, so we'll do a smaller version. And so for the smaller version, we'll go five across. Is that five? I think so, right? Three, four, five. Yep, and then so we'll throw the wing on the other end here. So for a smaller airship, I usually go two wide. So this was a design that I used a lot um, throughout my previous build, but it's also important to note that when I do the body, that it's a half step from a wing, uh, a wing component. So as you can see, this would be one and a half over, and this is important because when I go to make the body, because we are suspended in the air. The roof pieces that I use to make the body will not snap down unless we have a wall piece that's supporting it. And I put the wall pieces basically at midpoint through here. And this is what enables me to create the hull. So if we go ahead and we construct the hall now you can see that it snaps to that wall piece and I do the half step here because I for whatever reason it will not let me uh, snap in a wall kind of midway through here if I am at a a full spacing with the wing so I think it's because it snaps midway to these flooring pieces but just a bit of a nuance to make sure that it works correctly so just something important to note so we'll close up the corners here. We'll throw some triangle floors at the top. All right, and so that's basically the body, the body of the ship there. That's done. Now we have to create the balloon that sits on top. Um, we got to make sure it looks like it's got a reason why it's floating. So what I do is I put some scaffolding to make sure that it Still can walk through this way. I'll jump on top of it. I'll throw down a single wall piece. And then I'll throw a sprig fence at the midpoint of this wall. So if I can get it to snap in here. There. So I snap it in at the midpoint. And because what this will do is this will act as our support for our little lighter here. All right, so there we go. So we got our fire going. And then we'll just build the balloon up from here. So this is this is my process. So we'll first we'll close up the four walls around it. And this is what allows us to then build the roof or build the balloon but we use the the roofing pieces to to build it up to give it the 
the round feel. So I'll use those and then I'll use the roof interior corners for these. And then from here, I'll place some floor. And from here, you have to build another wall or else the roof tiles won't show as supported. So ideally, I want to place another one of these on the edge, but I can't unless I have another wall. So we have to build four more walls. Or I guess technically, you could just build one more wall, but I build four more just because it speeds up my, my process. And we are in creative mode, so I can definitely afford to. And then I'll also build up some stairs just to make it easier to get around. All right, so then we're going to work on our next layer of the balloon. So I'll put in all of these sides first. And then on these corner spots, we'll basically alternate the, the different corner tiles. So the roof interior corner and the roof corner. And that's what will allow us to close it up like that. All right, so there we go. And then from here, I don't want to go out anymore. I just want to go up. So from here, I'll just put in some normal grass walls for one layer. Just make sure that we go all the way around. And then I also need to get up a little higher, so I'll build another, another stairway up through here. And then I'll use the the roof and bring it back in so we'll follow the same method but just make sure that we are bring it back to a point so again we'll just continue to alternate these different corner pieces all right so once we have one layer that angles back in towards the center that's all we want we don't want to go uh, anymore with the the angled roof tiles what we want to do is just cap it off, and that will give us the shape that we want for, for the balloon. So from here, we'll just take some grass floor, and we'll just cover up the top. And so once we cover up the top, as you can see, we pretty much have the, the shape that we want for the balloon and for the ship. And then from here, what I usually do is just maybe do, you know, some, some basic detailing. I might add, you know, maybe a chair in the middle here. Make it look like there's a steering wheel. Maybe an engine back here. And then I also like to use the zipline anchor and have it tethered somewhere to the dock. So, you know, let's say I had another one over here. Something like that. Just makes it look a little cool, a little interesting. I might also add some some fences maybe. Just as some railings. And there you have it. I mean that's that's the smaller version of the airship that I that I built in a lot of my uh, airship city build. Now, if we want to do something a little bigger, we just take this same concept and, and scale it up a little bit more. So let's go ahead and build another one in this next, next slot. So again, we'll start with the wing. This is where we'll have it connected to the dock. One, two, three, four, five, six. We'll go seven. We'll go seven for this one. It'll be a little bit bigger. So again, we want to make sure that we are putting the hull part of the the boat of the the ship in half step in a half step increment to the wing. But we'll go ahead and we'll make this one. We'll make it four wide. We'll make it. We'll make it pretty thick. Let's go ahead and let's place the base. We'll do little half increments there, which will again will allow us to to place the roof down below, and then we'll use the corners to bring it up off to a point here. Do the same on the back, 
And then technically we do have to still place these pieces on the bottom here. So as you'll see, the bottom is exposed here. So we'll want to make sure that's all covered up. So from here, we just got to figure out where exactly we want to build the uh, balloon. So typically for a larger one like this, I'll create some sort of middle cabinet. Maybe we'll, we'll work like that. We'll throw down some flooring on the second level. And then maybe we'll also just have a little bit of a flare of additional level of, uh, of wings here. It's a bigger ship, so we need a little, little more support there. And then from here, it's a very similar process. So we'll use the scaffolding to start the, the stem of the balloon. And then we will use the wall, again in this case, to start the actual balloon. So we'll grab our fence. So there it is. Stick it right in the middle. And in this case, we're, this balloon's going to be a little bit bigger. So we're going to extend it out a little bit more. All right, so there's our fencing. Let's throw some, some torches real quick. Just make sure we have enough light. All right, so with our fencing in, we'll then throw our torches on there. And then we will close it off with some more of the stem wall. And then we will start our, our balloon. So again, we'll follow the same concept where we will just keep circling around and then using the corner pieces where we can. So now that we have the first layer in, we'll lay in some flooring again and then create the, the walls from which uh, we can build our next layer on. And then we'll put in just some stairs so we can easily navigate and then throw in the next layer. So again, it's very similar to the smaller version. The shape is just a little bit different, but we're going to pretty much do the exact same thing. So in the corners again, we'll use the corner roof tiles. All right, so the next layer is done, and now we're going to go straight up. We'll use the grass wall. We'll go all the way around again. And we'll build up another staircase just so we can get high enough. And then we'll throw in the final layer of roof. All right, so the final layer of, of the roof is in. Now we'll just put in the floor at the very top. Just make sure it's all closed off. Oops, didn't want that one. Well, it won't really matter. No one will see it. And there we go. We should have the shape that we were looking for for this one. Yep, as you can see, just a little bit bigger uh, than the previous version. But it's still you know, proportional, and it makes sense, just given that we do have the, the larger body here with this ship. And then just for decoration, I mean, we can do whatever we want here. Maybe we, again... We'll go with some some fencing. Oh, didn't want that there. Didn't want to do that either. Inside the cabin, I don't know. It's a little bit bigger ship, so maybe we'll put in a maybe we'll put in a nicer chair for for the captain. Throw that in there. Give him a bit of a steering wheel, and then maybe we'll have a bigger engine in the back, so we'll we'll make it three. I mean, yeah, so you, you can add whatever you want to these, again. Um, I just wanted to show how you can scale up from, you know, a smaller model to a bigger model. As you see, we follow a very similar methodology um, from one to the next. And you can run wild. I mean, you can do whatever you want with the design of the hull and the balloon, multiple balloons, you know, again, 
go go crazy. Um, but sometimes it's helpful working from a, a framework when you're starting these builds. It may not be the best method, but it is my method and would love to see other designs out there from other grounded builders. Anyways, if you guys found this video helpful, please make sure you like and subscribe and I will catch you in the next one. Thanks.